Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We start another uh, video on paper 5 and this is the second video on June 23, paper 5 2. Uh, question 2 is air pollution due to motor vehicles is an environmental issue that needs constant monitoring. Lichens consist of protoctists and fungi living in a close association. The protoctists and fungi each benefit from this association. Lichens are found in a large range of habitats including on the surface of tree trunks, tree bark, as shown in figure 2.1. Tree bark with lichen, tree bark without lichen. Figure 2.1. Lichens are sensitive to air pollution. The abundance of lichen decreases with increasing levels of air pollution. So more the air pollution, less the lichens. They are sensitive to air pollution. So the abundance of them decreases with increasing levels of air pollution. And so lichens can be used to monitor levels of air pollution. Sometimes scientists investigate the relationship between distance from a road and levels of air pollution. The scientists Uh, part 2 of the question says state one risk and one safety precaution that the scientist should take when measuring the abundance of the lichens of the tree trunks. Now, basically, there are some things which you can talk about in anything, you know, the allergy, irritation, allergic reaction, infection, uh, fumes, injury from trips. Now, you see, if you look at all these points, they're very, very basic points. Like, for instance, from the trees, people could be allergic to the leaves or the trunk or something in that. So you should wear a suitable PPE. Now, what is a PPE? I hope everybody knows that. 
This is a personal protective equipment, helmet, goggles, face mask, gloves, overall safety shoes. So this is called a PPE, personal protective equipment. This is where, remember, in the COVID, we had to all used to wear it or the doctors had to wear it or the nurses had to wear it. People who had to come in contact with other. So in order to save yourself, you have to wear this protective clothing. So trees and plants, allergy, suitable PPE, or you can medication for to prevent allergy. Then animals or animal waste could be uh, dangerous allergy, bites, zooplasmosis, medication, work in a group, travel with an expert, suitable PPE. Then fungi or lichen, allergic reaction, suitable PPE. Then inhaling the fungal spores, so lung infection, wear a mask. Then traffic, uh, fumes. Uh, cone of the road, high vis west, look, look, listen, suitable PPE. And then woods, holes, trip hazards, injury from falling, branches, getting lost, hypodermic neighbors. So look where you're stepping, wear a hard hat, don't climb trees, GPS map, so that you don't get lost. So all these are very, um, sometimes I find them funny and weird uh, risks and safety precautions, but you have to be sensible enough in writing to to get your two marks. So you have to give me the risk one mark and the precaution is one mark. So hazard and risk one mark and precaution one mark. So you had to get these two points for giving me the hazard and risk and then telling me how you could, uh, what are the precautions that you should use. The scientists recorded the presence of lichens by shading in the circles on the grid where lichens were observed. The results were shown in 2.3. Lichens present, lichen absent. Using the grid in the figure 2.3 to calculate the percentage cover of the lichen on the tree truck and show your working. And you have to give this to me in percentage. So percentage cover of the lichen. Now let's look at the calculations. What are we going to do? What calculations are we going to do? So out of a 90 of total, because you, you know there are 10 in each and there are 9 squares. So there was a 90 in this 10 into 9 is equal to 90. So 90 was the total number of circles out of which 39. Now I've written all these and you can add them up. And they are so 39 out of 90 uh, and into 100. So this comes to about 43.3% uh, or you could have said, because it's better if you show your working is 43%. Uh, but a percentage was given. So you just had to write here 43. But you have to show me this working as well. The 39 over 19 to 100, this got you one mark. And the 43% got you the second mark. So two marks for this calculation, 39 over 90 into 100. Then coming on to the C part of the question, the scientists measure the percentage cover of lichen on 10 trees, each growing at a different distance from the road. The scientists carried out a Spearman's rank correlation analysis to find out if there was a correlation between the distance from the road and the percentage cover of lichens on the tree trunks. Table 2.1 shows part of the table used to determine the data needed for the Spearman's rank correlation equation. Complete table 2.1 for tree number. Complete table 2.1 for tree number 10. So the tree number 10 was distance from the road was 5.6. Rank was uh, 7. Percentage cover of the lichen was 74, rank was 5. So difference in rank would be what? Difference in rank is 7 minus 5, so this is 2. And then D square would be 4. So this would get you 2 marks. D is equal to 2 and D square is equal to 4. Because if you knew that you know you had to, the minus the rank, difference in rank was you minus it from the first one. So 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 and this was the 2 that you had to write here. Then it says, uh, let's look at the further part of the question. The formula for calculating the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient Rs is equal to 1 minus 6 into sigma d square over n cube minus n. Uh, key two symbols the difference in rank between each pair and the number of pairs of items. The scientists calculated the value of sigma d square as 39.75. So this one here. This is 39.75. Calculate the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient value to three significant figures. So what is Rs is equal to 1 minus 6 into 39.75 over n cube minus n.
Now you can see this working which I have done because they gave you the value 39.75. So you just have to put it in the formula and one minus this and then you get this. But then remember one thing it said you value to three significant. So 0 0.7591 would be wrong. The answer is 0 0.759 or if you said 0 0.760. And that got you the two marks. I mean, uh, the one mark is for the working and one mark. But if you get the answer right, you got two marks, even if you didn't show me the working. But if the answer was wrong, then I would probably give you a mark if I saw this somewhere in the and you got the answer wrong. Well, of course, then you'd get one mark. So please be careful when you're doing this. It said three significant figures. You usually forget looking at it. You're careless. Your generation, I'm sorry to say, uh, is full of careless mistakes. When I used to teach in 2005, I found very few careless mistakes. Now in every paper, I find at least three to five marks of careless mistakes. Now we're coming to part three of the question. Uh, it says state the conclusion that can be made from the calculated value of Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So RS, what was RS here? It was 0.760. So, I mean, what is the conclusion? It's strong. It's a strong correlation and it's a positive correlation. Now, a strong correlation and a positive correlation. So, this gets you two marks. And positive correlation. But what is the third mark for? The third mark is for as distance from the road increases, abundance of lichen increases. So strong correlation, positive correlation, and an, uh, and an understanding of it is as the distance from the road increases, abundance of lichen increases, which of course, of course, is proving the fact that uh, more the pollution near the road, so the lichens, of course, are the indicators for pollution. Now coming to the last part of the question. Uh, yes, before I go on to the last part of the question, I want to just discuss something with you. Now you can see these Pearson's correlation coefficients. Number one, large positive correlation. Two, medium positive. Number three, small negative correlation and weak no correlation. So these are the graphs that we give you. Maybe they ask you in a graph how a positive correlation. So this is increasing. This is also increasing. So you get a line like this. And then medium positive correlation, as you can see, the points are sort of around that area, but not on that line. And then negative means, you know, this is increasing. And this is increasing this way, but then you see it going down. So this is a negative correlation. And uh, this one is, of course, no correlation because you draw a line and they're all just spread all around the scatter diagram. So here's the scatter points. Then you can see this one. This is another one which I want you to study. Here you have zero. So we have it from plus one to minus one. So if it's towards negative side, then of course is a perfect negative correlation. And 0.7 to 0.7 is condition is too weak to be thought significant and perfect positive values with anything above 0.7 to plus one. So this is just a little range, but you know, positive means a positive correlation. Sometimes it's a weak positive, sometimes it's a strong positive correlation. And then we come to the last part of the question state how the scientists could use the calculated value of RS to determine whether or not the correlation is due to chance. Now, of course, for this, what do we need to do is we need to use critical values of RS at probability 0.05. So critical values of RS at probability 0.05, then if the calculated RS is greater than the critical RS, then it is not due to chance. Or you could have said if the calculated value of RS is less than the critical RS, then it's due to chance. So the fact that the critical value is the most important, which we need to calculate at probability 0.05. Now, uh, the critical value of RS at probability 0.05. So please remember probability in bio is always at 0.05. So you find out the critical value of RS at 0.05, and then you see what was your value. Now, this is for every probability question. If your calculated value is greater than the critical value, then it is not due to chance. Or it's the other way around. If your calculated value is less than the critical value, then the correlation is due to chance. So if your calculated is more than the critical, 
they are not due to chance. This is one thing that you need to remember always that if your calculated value is greater than the critical value, then it is not due to chance. And if it is, then it is due to chance. So please remember, this is something that we all have to understand how to answer these questions on probability and these uh, Spearman's rank correlation and other uh, statistical tests that we have. Uh, the chi-square test is one of them again. 